thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, Madam High Representative. First of all, may I start by saying that I fully agree with Omar Brock and uh, Mr. Schaffhauser, who is not any longer present, uh, should know that I share these words, and if he's taking Omar Brock to court, I would like to sit beside him. That's uh, one remark. Now, we had very, very impressive guest yesterday in this house, uh, uh, Mr. Kasyanov, and I would uh, mention a few quotes. One, last features of Russian democracy are gone. Russia is not any longer a democracy. There is no civil war in Ukraine because there is no reason for a civil war in Ukraine. The Russians are not oppressed. Uh, the murder of Boris Nemtsov was a murder which was uh, demonstrative and with political motivations. Now, these are strong and very clear words of someone that is on the domestic political scene, someone that had the courage to come here. Now, for me, there is a clear linkage between what is going on domestically in Russia and what is going on beyond Russia. This is, these are two sides of the same coin. And I would really appreciate, Madame Mogherini, if we could at a set moment really come to a serious debate on the strategy towards Russia, where we will show clear steps which we have in our hands, in our pockets, if they will move one step forward. But at the same time, and I do share that, that we should have positive incentives for the Russian civil society, for businesses, students, researchers. So this is the way that we need to act. This should be our strategy in broad terms. Thank you.